The next key input that we want to walk through is the wellbore builder. On your left, this little icon looks like a wellbore sketch. If we click that, we'll pull up the wellbore builder. Uh, this wellbore builder will summarize hole sizes and casing sizes that will be run in each interval. And this is also where we can change uh, tapers to the casing, tapers to the liner, tapers to the hole. And you can do that by clicking on any particular line item in the table that you want to edit. So for example, in the 12 and a quarter inch hole section of the intermediate interval, if I want to drill that in two runs or in two hole sizes, I should say, I can do that by clicking on the button that says taper hole. Now I've created two intervals that are split half and half between the original casing shoe and the casing shoe for this hole section. And if I wanted to, I could then change the diameter of the upper part of the hole to something different. Notice here I've got 13 and a half inch hole for the upper section down to 10,750 feet and then 12 and a quarter inch hole down to 16,500 feet. In a similar way, I can edit the casing itself that's run on that interval. With a button that says taper string, it gives me the opportunity to split the string in half. And I'll start by specifying the depth at which I'm going to run the different specification of casing. Let's just say to 10,000 feet, I'm going to run a different 9 and 5 eighths than the section that's run to 16,500 feet. I guess I should have counted an extra zero there. 10,000 feet. Now if I want to edit the specs of that casing, I would click on the diameter and that will pull up the library in the lower panel. Let's say that I want to change this casing to 10 and 3 quarters. You can do so by typing in 10.75. If I happen to know the weight, let's say 65.7 pound, grade P110, and a VAM top connection. Notice as I start typing, it'll immediately reduce the library to only the entries that have those common characters. As soon as I click on that tubular, the, the uh, wellbore schematic will be updated and redrawn, and that specification will be saved into the design of the well, unless I were to click, click Cancel at this point. If I was to click Cancel, then it will ignore the selection and return it to the original 9 and 5 eighths that was specified. And I'll show you that by doing that here. Now I'm back to 9 and 5 eighths. If I want to look into a little bit more detail what this 9 and 5 8 47 pound P110 VAM top casing actually looks like, I can click on the advanced button which pulls up details about the specific tubular. Maybe there's only a minor little detail that I want to change about the casing that doesn't happen to exist in the library that comes with ERA. Well, I can edit those specific performance properties. Let's just say it's the makeup torque. I discover that from conversation with VAM that I can actually make up the casing to 30,000 foot-pounds. If I click OK, then that performance specification will be changed for this particular section of pipe. So that's an easy way to change simple little details about the string, even if they're not in the library. As it turns out, I don't really want tapered casing, so I'm going to remove the taper by clicking this button. And now I'm back to just a single string of 9 and 5 8 47 pound P110 VAM top. Likewise, I don't really want tapered hole, so I'll remove the tapered hole. Well, I just added the tapered hole. Remove. You know what? I might not have a way to re Oh, here we go. Uh, remove the 13 and a half inch hole and remove this upper 12 and a quarter inch hole. Now I'm back to where I started. The other thing worth pointing out on the wellbore builder is this is an easy opportunity to change strings either from liner to casing. You notice on the 7 inch liner with the drop down menu if I click casing it extend the casing all the way back to surface. If I change it to liner I need to specify the liner top. If for some reason I wanted a shallower liner top this is where I could edit it. Likewise the top of cement if I plan on lifting cement to the top of the liner I could do that here. Well, that's a little too high. Not very good with zeros today. You also notice on the right, uh, some of these descriptors are in, in black and some are in green. The text that's in black has already been edited and changed, and it will influence the labels that are drawn on the well path itself. And you notice down in the lower left-hand corner, 9 and 5 eighths, 13 and 3 eighths have no descriptor other than just the dimension, but the 7-inch liner has the description liner. By default, ERA is going to populate these fields 
with either casing or liner as the descriptor or conductor if it happens to be conductor. If I wanted to change this to just simply 7 inch, by clicking on edit and deleting the liner, this will now be permanently changed to 7 inch. I would have to reset all the defaults in the program to return this to auto text, which will show up in green. Or if I simply want liner to be drawn, that's what will be drawn. Those are the basic functions of the Wellbore Builder. Um, hopefully this gets you started in being able to build a Wellbore from scratch or edit an existing Wellbore.